hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be doing like this vlog <laughs> this vlog is going to be a bit of a discombobulated vlog because i started filming the first part of this vlog and i've lost my memory i've lost my memory card and i cannot find it anywhere so i'm refilming the uh, intro so this is going to be like a home vlog I have little jobs here and there to do around the house that I've been meaning to do for such a long time, for such a long time, and just never got around to it for some reason or another. So today we are going to be doing that. So I went to IKEA a few days ago because we needed we needed to pick up some essentials. I vlogged it all on my phone, thankfully, and I have I still got my phone. So I'm going to insert all that footage now. The days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside We went to Ikea and we picked up some goodies. So I'm gonna unbox them all now and show you guys what we got. But before I unbox those items, I am gonna unbox some new prints. I'm gonna show you guys some new prints um, that I recently got for the house. And this is kind of what sparked the whole, like, let's do stuff to the house. Like our house is a constant project. Um, we live in a new build, so it's never like big jobs that we need to do. It's just like a few decorative things to finish off spaces, rooms. Um, so let me show you guys the prints because I love them so much. I'll, I'll show you guys the prints and tell you guys where they're going. So I've already opened this up, but we got some prints from Desanio, but they're very kindly giving me a discount code. So I'll leave all of the details to the discount code here and also in the description box. Um, I think the discount code is only gonna work for a few days. If you want something, definitely use this opportunity to um, pick up some bits. I'll show you guys the bits that I picked up. Um, it might give you some inspo, um, but I do love just adding prints to areas of the house and there's certainly spaces in our house which have needed to be updated. So we like very abstract, very minimal and neutral prints. So that is the vibe. If you've seen our house on our house page and you'll know the kind of vibe that we have. So the first one that I've got here is this abstract print here. I'm not sure if the camera's really gonna pick up on it. Um, so there we go. And then we have two of these prints here. These are gonna go in the kitchen. See, so these are gonna go in the kitchen. That's the first one there. And then the second one, it looks very, very similar. It's just slightly different. And we're gonna um, frame them with the black frames. And then in my room, I went for this one here. So it's like dark brown and it's got a little bit of green in there as well. I'm not sure whether you're gonna be able to pick that up. I'm gonna insert a clip now to show you guys what the pictures look like with the frames and where we're gonna be putting the pictures. Oh, these are the bits which we picked up in Ikea. We didn't get loads, so we got more of the clear bags because Jack said he needed them. But then, and then we also got these kind of like fans, so you put them on the wall, and I really like them. Jack actually picked them up, and I think we're gonna put them in the spare bedroom, because I think it'll just, um, fill up a space so we've got a wall in our spare bedroom which has nothing on it and it it just looks really really bare so again I'll show you guys at some point what this looks like on the wall but yeah we've got these little fans but I guess you can use it as a fan but we're going to use it as well that we desperately we desperately needed some more glasses because both Jack and I keep smashing them so <laughs> we've got some new glasses as well um, we had to get a completely new style because I feel like they've discontinued the one that we got. 
Um, so it's a little bit frustrating. I got these two wooden organizers. I have um, some paper, well, cardboard, cardboard ones, but they are literally falling apart. Like they look, I'm not looking at it right now, they're falling apart, they're, they're not good. Um, so I got these ones because they're made out of like a wood material. Um, so well, the reason why I say wood, it's like those, I'll just show you it. So it, it looks like wood, it feels like wood, but I don't think it is wood. The main thing that we went to Ikea for was some curtains. Um, I just felt like we really needed curtains in our in our living room. Um, we have a big white wall with white blinds and it just looks very bare. So I thought blinds um, could really help bring some something to the wall. These are what the blinds look like. They are a lovely neutral colour. They weren't that, they, I mean, they weren't like crazy expensive they weren't expensive but they also went cheap like i was talking to one of my friends and she said that she got blinds she managed to get curtains from ikea for like 30 pounds these ones were these ones were around 75 i took them to the tailors the other day that is a real tongue twister um and i just went and go, i just went to go pick them up today um because we needed them shortening um so they should fit perfectly but we shall see i'm gonna put the curtains up jack has already put the um the pole up which we also got from ikea he's already done that so i just need to put the curtains up um and i'll do that obviously within this vlog hi everyone so it's now the evening i'm in my kitchen i'm gonna cook some congolese food this evening and i have been thinking about this but i've been thinking about this for the last few days so basically one of my great aunts came to visit me um a few a few days ago she's a great aunt but she's more like a grandmother to me and we had a little day out together um i just hung out with her i haven't seen her in a while i saw her last year when i was i saw her last year when i was in paris but i haven't seen her since and she keeps calling me and anyway she was in leeds and she was like we need to meet up and i was like yes when we were hanging out together um we went to go get some Congolese food uh because she was telling me that she hadn't eaten any Congolese food in a while and i was like me too uh so we went and got some food and i've just been craving like pundu with rice and chicken pundu is like my favorite food like favorite comedy's food hands down um it's just yeah everything and the way that my mum used to make it was definitely my favorite way um so i have found i have made it before I've made it quite a few times actually it's been about a year uh, it's been a really really long time since i've made it and i've just been craving it you know just like all of the good all of the congolese goodness <laughs> i've been craving it for a while and we went and got some and i was like i'm gonna cook some this weekend so basically this weekend i'm home alone and it just means that i can take my time doing all the things which i don't normally do so i'm gonna make some pundu i'm gonna have it um i'm gonna make quite a big batch so that i can have it tonight um, tomorrow and uh, share some with Jack as well because I know he likes it too um, but yeah I'm literally going to be following a tutorial on YouTube my mum used to make it with peanut butter and that's my favourite way like I have to put peanut butter peanut butter in it um, but I haven't found any other tutorials where people put peanut butter in it like and I do remember my older sister used to make it and she never used to put peanut butter and she used to put sweet corn in her. So everyone has their own little quirks of how to make pondu, but I make it the way that I grew up eating it. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it with chicken. I've got some fried plantain as well. Guys, I'm going to have a feast, especially because I haven't really eaten that much today. I've been eating like healthy food because um, I've been craving like healthy juicy fruits um so it means i haven't really eaten that much today so i'm gonna really I'm, I'm gonna go all out i'm going all out so i haven't even told you guys what pondu is so pondu is cassava cassava leaf um and we make it into well congolese people i don't know if any other african countries have pondu they might have their own versions but in lingala it's called pondu and um so it's cassava leaf and we make it into like a stew which have rice and other stuff like um chicken lamb whatever beef um so that's what it is <laughs> i'll show you guys um the ingredients um excuse my skin i'm just i'm having a moment right now i'm having a moment um it's hormonal so there's really nothing i can do about it i'm going to show you guys my all the ingredients that i'm going to use and also i don't have all of the ingredients like um i couldn't find everything and go where i live 
they don't even sell bay leaves in my local tesco it's a struggle okay this is the tutorial which i follow her account is called afro suki oh you probably can't see actually um i will link her video in the description box because she's the one who i use i'll show you guys what she looks like at the beginning this is the girl i don't have all of the ingredients which i need for pundu i have my pundu which is um in the sink um just defrosting it's um pretty much it's all good to go um but on top of that i use aubergine onion garlic spring onions i use this um mackerel fish and peanut butter and um oh i also use i will also be using oxo cubes um because i don't have maggie and what else salt and yeah i think that's it um i don't have uh, fresh chilli so I would recommend that I'm going to check in my cupboards to see if I have any uh, chilli powder um, but I think that's pretty much it like she on her tutorial you can see all the ingredients that she has so she hasn't got loads herself so she's not using a lot of seasoning uh, herself um, and some of it is because she says she's making fish okay so I have washed my cassava leaf I'm going to pop some water in there. She hasn't said how much. She hasn't specified how much, so, um, yeah. I'm just going to put it up to probably, like, that level, right there. Then I'm going to chop up all of my veg, put it in a blender, and add that into here. Okay, so I've got my pundu boiling here. I've got my rice, which uh, I've just, um put it on the hob so that should start going in a second and um, in a second i'm gonna add some salt some oxo cube some peanut butter sorry it's all out of focus i do apologize and also some mackerel fish as well This is my finished product. So yeah, I've got my chicken, my plantain, rice, and pundu. Mm. Ilingia. Hi everyone, I look a bit different. I am rocking this short bob wig for a few days. Um, well, it's mine, <laughs> but I've been, but I've had it for a few days, and I'm like trying it out. Um, I did try to like wave it, but I feel like the waves have dropped out a little bit just because I've been doing some stuff around the house. So, I can't remember the last time I saw it to you because it's been such a while and I filmed like multiple vlogs whilst filming this vlog just because I knew it would be one of those kind of long vlogs. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys the decennial prints around the house. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the decennial prints around the house. And I'm also going to, I need to put um, a little bit of artwork up in the spare bedroom. So I'm going to do that as well. And I want to swatch the, some potential paint colours for the master bedroom. So we're also going to do that. Um, like I mentioned earlier, my decennio code will be left in the description box. So if you want to get a discount off of these prints, then I will leave all of the details over there. But yeah, let me show you guys around. Before I show you guys the decennio prints, I am going to quickly pop these little 
these um, wall art pe wall art pieces from IKEA. I don't know what to call them, so I'm just going to call it wall art. I'm going to pop these up on the wall here. I'm going to use these command strips here because, you know, if I can avoid using a nail, I shall. So this room is pretty much done. So this is the print which I went with in this room. It just adds a little bit of depth. Weirdly on camera, it looks really small. Like the print looks really small. I feel like the room, the bed looks small and it's actually a king size bed, but it looks <laughs> tiny. Like look how small it is. I feel like the print does look a little bit small, but this is the wall art which I went for. It's like abstract. I love a good abstract uh, print. The bed obviously doesn't have any bedding on it because I've put it in the wash. Um, and to be honest, we don't have anyone staying with us for a while. So I'm not going to bother putting any bedding on it until we have somebody stay. Otherwise, the bedding will just collect dust. But anyway, I've just set it, uh, anyway, I've just set it up like this. All of these cushions are from H&M Home. I'm thinking I might change this one into like a darker one. And um, just because I feel like there's a lot of light tones in here, which I love. Um, but I'm going to change it to a slightly lighter, to a slightly darker cushion if I can find one that fits. I'm not sure about these but they're gonna stay here until we find until I find somewhere else where I do want to put them. Yeah I don't think it works here. Both of our throws are from HM Home and then over here we've got this little setup. Um I feel like the diffuser I must have spilt this I must have spilt the diffuser at some point and it's marked it. Hopefully it'll dry out. Um I've got this diffuser which um to be honest, I don't know what's in there because I have refilled it multiple times. And then I do, ha and then I have this lamp here, which is from John Lewis, and I got it on sale. This is our spare bedroom. I feel like it's pretty much done now that I've painted it. I've um, got the wall art up. Oh, and our lamp is also from IKEA. I would love for Jack to lower that. That's our spare bedroom. I feel like this room is done. Like, there's nothing else which I want in here. Um, yeah. I feel like we are done in this room. I, I'm, I think I'm going to take these off. I don't think they work in here. Um, they also look really, really small on camera. In real life, they don't look that small, but they look really, really small. I mean, this painting looks tiny on camera, um, but it isn't that small in real life. Odd. Odd how the camera can change the proportions. When you come into my office, this is the print which I went for. So it's like, it's got... Ooh, you can see it a lot brighter now. So it's got like um, a brown, a bit of green, like a dark green in there. Um, it's a very neutral, abstract uh, painting. It's a really, really gloomy day today. Um, such a miserable day. But yeah, I had to get some sort of painting in that corner just to kind of um, add a little bit of something just because that wall was just looking very... There's just nothing going on there. This is a little bit of a snippet of my office these are the little organizers which i got from ikea these are so much better than the cardboard ones these ones actually like they don't stretch they don't rip so yeah i love that i got this little thing from amazon i've had this one a while then i also do have a couple of decennial prints here i've had these ones for like probably like from the minute we moved in so i've had these for maybe like two years something like that um two and a half years I've no plans on changing them. Um, it's really hard to show you guys these prints because it's so miserable outside. Like the weather is grey, miserable, raining, just horrible. Um, but yeah, this one here. Get a little bit closer. Oh, camera's not liking that. There we go. I just felt like we needed a picture here, something here because it's just a big white wall. There's nothing going on. Um, so we just popped a picture there. You come down. You and then as you come down the hallway, um, we've got these two baskets. Of, um, we also got this little uh, blanket throw from Ikea. And yeah, this is our hallway. Again, I can't remember what, I think, oh, actually, I know the name of this one. So um, the paint in, in the hallway is Egyptian cotton. Um, yeah, I love this colour. This is actually, I would love to paint my whole house, like, all of the hallway, this colour. And then in our living room, we recently put up these curtains. 
um because again this wall is completely white it just looked a little bit too white without um a little bit of something there and the curtain color matches the paint like the wall paint really really well okay i don't know why i didn't do this before but i should have just turned the light on in here so yeah i actually think i prefer the chair without anything on it yeah i think i actually might prefer that just with nothing on it so i think from now on we're not gonna have a throw here anymore now, finally we are in our kitchen so this is what our kitchen like the back wall let's talk about this wall art i love these all um what do you call it like plate baskets <laughs> like there and i love these all woven wall art i'm not i don't know what to call them uh or slash i can't remember what they're called but i just i don't think they work here i just don't think they work in the kitchen yeah i think it's i don't know there's something about them which i don't love so I got some more Desenia prints. We're still deciding whether to stick to the wall art or the prints. So I have got some Desenia prints there. Again, they are abstract prints, the black frame. What I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna take these off because they're just like hung on with command strips. And I'm gonna sh try to show you guys what I, what I think might look better. But wow, the sun's kind of coming out. So I've taken off the wall art off the wall again these prints for whatever reason look really really small i don't know why but um i don't know it's hard to tell isn't it until i actually hang them up i'm gonna have to wait till jack comes back to decide the thing is with these is that we can use them in the spare bedroom i actually think it might look a little bit better in the spare bedroom um there's quite a few here we actually got them from like uh i think it's called the north home or something like that it's there's a store in leeds um they only had like this one set and we've got them all so you can't exactly buy them but if i can find anything similar then i will i'm thinking the prints might look better I think they might look better than the wall i think the wall art just makes it look a little bit too busy i haven't shown you guys a little area in our kitchen so we got this shelf from cox and cox it was on sale i literally bought it at like midnight because I don't know. Uh, it was on sale, so I was like, "Yep, yeah, we've had we've had this up a few months now, um, so it's nothing new." Um, so yeah, let me just turn these round. I love, I love having flowers just here. Right, I'm going to show you guys the three paint colours which we've got. We've got nutmeg white which is a bit on the pinky side these are all julix paints because i couldn't get any samples of the um being cute own brand then we have summer linen which i think is like the middle shade and then we have timeless i think i think jack and i both i've showed him these and i think we both like summer linen the most because i have a fear that this one's just gonna be too pink like can you see Looks quite pink. Anyway, my camera's been really blurry, so anyway, let's try this out. Okay, so these are the three paint swatches. So this is Nutmeg White. Oh, so this is nutmeg white. I've got a little bit of paint on my fingers. Um, nutmeg white is looks very similar to the colour on the uh, on the wardrobes. So I'm not sure we're going to go for that just because we don't want the whole room to be one colour. We want it to be a little bit different to the um, wardrobe colour. So hence why I swatched all the paints next to the wardrobe because that is a big thing that's going to determine everything. So that is nutmeg white, which I'm not sure if it's going to work. Then we have summer linen, which looks quite peachy. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but actually it's quite a peachy colour. And then we have timeless, which <laughs> looks very close to the white, but I actually think that both Jack and I might end up liking the colour Timeless the most because we wanted something that was just off-white so that it contrasts just slightly with the skirting board but has just the tiniest bit of depth um, because we don't want to make this room dark. We have our beautiful 
Velux, Velux windows. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I'm going to ask what Jack thinks, but I'm actually probably going towards that one. Uh, I thought I thought I was going to like this one, but I think it's just too peachy. But this one definitely contrasts with the um, wardrobe. Like it's different enough to the wardrobe. Um, but it's not dark at all. So the other two is just, this is just mauve and this is peach. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better now actually. Yeah, so I'll let this dry for a few hours and then I'm sure in another vlog I will do, uh, I'll show you guys me painting this room because I will probably be the one who paints it because I, because <laughs> I love painting, like I love painting rooms i've loved it since i was like a little kid i remember when i was growing up i used to always be like mum like can we paint a room yeah so thank you so much for watching this vlog i think i've pretty much showed you guys everything i don't think there's anything else that i need to show you all um i hope you have enjoyed watching this home update vlog and you've enjoyed seeing little bits that we've been doing over the last year i would say year because like i i think we really started i think we really started painting the house about a year ago and it's taken so long just because we're very indecisive and you would think that how can you be so indecisive when you just like beige there's so many types of beige <laughs> there's so many types of beiges and um like if you are a beige lover then you're probably gonna like a house if you're not then you're probably not but one thing that we said you know from the minute that we knew that we were going to get this house is that we want this room to feel calming and beige warm tones is what makes us feel calm Um, just you know the previous actually the year of buying this house we had the pandemic and i we were both going through our own stressful situations like personal stresses and i just remember thinking that i want this house to feel i want to feel zen that the feeling that i want to have when i walk into this house is the and beige tones is what makes me feel like that so um we love our home and i hope you've enjoyed seeing little snippets here and there um but yeah i'm gonna leave it there hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog and i will catch you guys in my next one bye